school, baby. <laughs> car checks um battle off today uh we got go far versus go far first up yeah this is the perfect race here let's see who's got it then yeah so we got the fast car checks uh first ever uh, drag race you know what i mean go far versus go far we got jordan as the driver of the uh great go far and we've got omar it is <laughs> You two line up then, Wiz and uh, Lee Brown. I don't know who won that race, that man can tell you. That man can tell you, was it Josh's car? Josh's car. One, two, go! Oh, I think Omar had him that time. I had him that time. No, 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 it's two, two, one, one. You two now, innit? You two. Obviously, this is rear wheel drive. That's four wheel drive. So technically, we know, but this is now not with excuse because listen, he got a 3.95. When he come on my show, he got a 4.2. So you should have the drop if it goes according to script. If it goes according to script. got BMW rear wheel drive versus four wheel drive. Oh. I think Wiz hit him, didn't he? Oi. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who got the drop on who. One nil Wiz. No, but I won. Oh, you won the race though. Oh, okay, okay. So you crossed the line first, okay. So it's one nil to the S3, but actually it's funny because I thought the four wheel drive would have got the drop, but it was the other way around. We had the, the take off still. So we're gonna go again. It's now one nil at the minute. You be the finish, you go, you do it. No one's at the end. Yeah, calm down there. Jeez. Had him then. I said that. There's no need for a third now. <laughs> Two nil that is. What, yeah, back to back. I didn't see the first one, but yeah, that was definitely. Not control, but BMW. That's what it is, though. If this car's not launching, then. That's, 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 that's what I mean. But even the That's rear wheel. And it's not a launch. He was there, bro. He was there, innit? He was there. Yeah, but did you see? You had the drop at the start, didn't you? And that's why he got the 395. 
Yeah. Clearly the power of the brake horsepower is literally making the difference yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. Four wheel drive, that car would be a nutter, wouldn't it? Yeah. If it you know what I mean? It'd be a made four wheel drive. What, you want to do one more with him? Yeah, no, you need to... Yeah, come, come on. on, you need to drag to him, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, no. come on. All right, so here we go. I thought it was the end of the show. <laughs> we got one more to go. Cousin versus cousin, is it? Okay, the battle of the cousins, let's just say. Cousin battle today. Uh, Omar versus Lee. The two browns, the two browns. Let's see who's got the minerals then. We got the man them for showing up today. All the man them there still. Obviously, whizzing the man in the car, Omar. You know what I'm saying? Big up the south, here he comes. Big up all the man them over there. I think cars down there, someone with the camera. But yeah, like I said, fast car checks. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Yo, fast car checks, another one. Guys, fast car checks back again with another episode. This time it's the Seat Leon Cooper. As you can see, it's a good friend of mine. He's been on the show before. So we're getting to that in a minute, but again, we're here to do the full review this time because last time it was the D-Max event, we travelled up in the car. We didn't actually get the full review, the 0 to 60, so that's what we're here to do today. So let me introduce you to our driver today, the man himself, Jordan. Yeah, so we're just going to go on a little tear now um, in the Seat. Um, like I said, it's a good friend of mine, Jordan. You've seen him on the show before. So yeah, just break the car down a little bit again, just so people can get an idea. It's a standard Seat 296, did you say? 296. Yeah. 296, yeah. No, 286, sorry. Sir. 286. Um, how long have you owned this car? Uh, two years, I'm saying. Two years? Two years now, yeah. And how have you found it in terms of like spec? Uh, is it the right spec in terms of... To be of... fair, it's been a good call, right? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the, for the power that it's running, um, it's really good to be fair. Like, you can fully master gun like you can get. Yeah. You know, obviously, if I'm in fast mode, obviously you're not getting that. But yeah. prime time, you're just driving it sensibly. You get good master the gallon, to be fair. Yeah. Um, no problems with it, no issues. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right, I'm happy with it. And it's got the standard setup on there, which still sounds nice, by the way. Like I said, I've been in this car a few times. Never got to drove it, so hopefully today will be the day. <laughs> but again, like I said, it's your um, Seat Leon Cooper. Uh, I do like these cars to be fair. I had a Leon Cupra before, but it wasn't the Mark. It's the Mark 3? It's the Mark 3, isn't it? Yeah, Mark 2 I had. I had a Mark 2 one back a while ago. Um, fully remapped, fully stage 2. But again, the new engines, what they got, is the MQB engine, which you know on the south, they're, they're tunable. Um, they're very likable in terms of like people love them uh, in the Golf far, they love them in the S3. And again, it gets overlooked a lot more than those ones, but. This is the Seat Cooper version of it. Are we just in normal mode in the minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just in normal mode in the minute. Um, and it's still got a nice power to it. You can still hear the two litre turbo coming through whistling a bit. Um, to be fair, since owning it two years, it's only just really started to, it's only got 15,000 miles on the clock. I got it from brand new. And obviously since running it for two years, it's only just now you can actually hear the exhaust yeah. tones properly. Like it's boring a bit more now. Yeah. So like even in this mode now, if you put your foot down, yeah, 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 definitely, um, there's definitely, yeah, definitely something definitely there. Definitely warm in a bit more now. Um, I took it to Seattle the other day for its first service. Yeah. Um, I was chatting to the technicians about things I could do to it and stuff. Yeah, so 15,000 miles, did you see? That's quite a low... That's got the sat nav and the dash as well. Yeah. We're we'll getting we'll get these features in here anyway, but like I said, again, this car to me, as much as I've been in it a few times, yeah. It's basically it's like, brand new. Yeah, it's basically brand new. When I look around it again, you can see why Jordan's gone for the Cupra over the Audis and the um, Volkswagen. Value for money, really. Value for money. That's not to say which one's better, but again, 
it's a different look not a load of people is driving them they're still quite new a lot of people don't realize that they're the same car as the audi s3 or your uh, golf bars in it sport mode now anyway um, just setting it up on the screen valves are open now gonna do a 0 to 60 now um, front wheel drive so it should be in Chester so let's see if it can put it down one two ready one two go oh, last spin last spin here we go Who's putting it down five seven five seven we got okay well, we're, we're, we're taking off even more now so <laughs> Learners in front now. <laughs> Do you know in front as soon as I jump in the car? But yeah, obviously, I'm gonna just give it some action now. First of all, start in D, then make my way to the sport mode as I do in most cars. But yeah, so let's get started then. Let's go. Um, it's on an eco mode, so you have to get me out put, of it. Put the front in the there we go. Simple as that. <laughs> when you wind the windows up, it's a nice, you can't hear nothing. It's, it's almost got like a bit of an Audi build to it, hasn't it? Yeah. In that sense. Um, I mean, I'm not saying like Volkswagen, Audi, see it, they're all the same, but this feels more like the Audi than rather to the Volkswagen end. Uh, got that learner in front of us again, they've just conked out, I think. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know. me for this one still <laughs> first time in the sea you know what I mean driving it <laughs> yeah it's got a pull on it it's Definitely. got a lot of pull it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of energy in it it's that sort of car the power seems like it's on tap for you you don't have to yeah, drop too well. many gears it delivers well yeah it delivers it well it delivers it well mate being new as well it helps yeah full so, brake horsepower so get me into the uh, sport mode now it's just in sport there we go no that's not sport sorry that's fine. That's fine. So now we're in the sport. Valves are opened up. Let me give it some action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a different animal again. take me off the road and you just mentioned there the traction control was off at that point yeah yeah and we threw it into that corner quite heavy and it's just it's taking everything i'm giving it it's definitely taking everything i'm giving it so 
just get a little show of the dash so people can see obviously it's the um press the view different views so the view so right now you can see the digi dash that's looking sweet it's got different different setups so it shows, shows me there as you can see sport free there press yeah again. Press, again. press the view again changes again that's just full sat nav mode yeah uh yeah okay engine oil water temperature and yeah. um, g-force so it's all digital which again it's not a feature they i mean they do have it on the later golfs but it's not something they had on the early golf models again with the audi it was something they expect on the later models i'm not sure about the seat but again this is a newer model so they've still got that sort of technology but yeah it's an all round there it's definitely it's definitely grown me over the years obviously jordan when he first got it it was a new car not a lot of people even knew off the spec let's just say uh, but again jordan's his car man so he knows a little bit more in terms of specs and stuff and he's got the right one here but yeah it has come to the end of the episode um just a never short and sweet one today just a quick review as you know jordan's my friend we've been friends for 15 20 odd years now um so you know obviously i thought i'd do it from today as we're always about in this car but we haven't came to the chance to actually get down sit down and do it so today's the day but um yeah hope you guys liked it um for guys out there looking for Seat leon's if you have to see it leon i'm not saying this was for sale but they're a very good car they're capable of keeping up with the golf bars and all the rest of it once it gets going as we've seen with the nota 60 that's the only part that it's got difference i feel like after that you won't struggle to keep up with the golf bars if it's like a rolling start because yeah this car's got it mate this car's got it oh, oh, oh.